Hello fellow Gwent players and welcome back to The Witcher Trials! We're currently at rank 16. We got some rewards to claim. So let's go into the reward book and see what we can do. We're gonna finish our path to Detlaf and start our path to Kalanthi and also get a little head start on our Svalblood. Now, I don't like getting meteorite powder because it doesn't really help me advance in any shape or form, but still getting premiums is always a nice thing. It's just kind of unnecessary right now for me. Two more reward points to spend. I'm gonna finish my path to Ardle and start my path to Eldane. And I think we're pretty close to having every sort of path unlocked. So all that we need to do right now is just to unlock the leaders. Now let's open up the four kegs that we got from these rewards. Oh, we get an epic. Ah, it's gotta be Cleaver here. Cleaver is just so good. Oh my god, Cleaver is actually amazing. Take Cleaver here every time. You can literally put him into every deck as he's super strong. Next keg, another epic. This time it's Daran, and I really, really like Daran. He's super strong in Skellige, and with 720 scrap, we're definitely gonna also craft a Morkvarg to improve our Skellige decks. Another keg. Let's see what we get here. We get another Foglet, and I'm actually just gonna take the Foglet here, because we don't have to craft another one, and we can simply use the Foglet. It's pretty decent, actually. Last keg. Ooh, we get an Ifrit, which is really good. I, uh, let's just take Kedwini to start off something with Northern Realms, even though I haven't touched Northern Realms at all. And that wraps it up. It was actually a pretty good keg opening, <laughs> not gonna lie. Mill the spare cards. We can now technically already craft a Legendary, but I wouldn't recommend to you at the beginning of the game to craft Legendaries. You should actually just rely on your luck to find the Legendaries in kegs at the beginning, because Epics, Rares, and Commons are cheaper to craft and still can get you places. For example, my monster deck does not have a single Legendary in the deck, and it actually can win quite a few games. In this episode, I do want to look into crafting some new cards so let's see which cards I will choose. I've been looking through the decks that I've been working on, you know, conceptualizing and everything, and I saw that my beast deck was looking really good, actually. I put together a base around it with Enraged Ifrit and Cleaver being the non-beast synergy cards. Where, I mean, these cards are still pretty good because this is an 8 removal and this is just bonkers. And I'm gonna craft some new cards that we're gonna add to this deck and maybe some other decks because one of those cards is Roach. Pretty good with pretty much every deck. He's pretty high provision so you shouldn't put him in into every deck but things like Nilfgaard this is incredibly good. Beast this is a beast so this goes into the graveyard gives another point to our bear master. So I just think we can go ahead and, and craft this Roach for 200 scraps. Looking good, Roach. Looking really good. And the next card is gonna be Morkvarg, who is pretty much auto-include in Skellige, as long as you're running Burn a Bran or just any discard tool. I mean, adding Morkvarg to our collection is just a necessity, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. So this is the deck. I am only playing one Freya's Blessing, as I think we don't have enough beasts for this to actually go off like crazy, so I think one Freya's Blessing is enough. And replacing it with Daran is just really, really good. Because Daran is actually kind of nuts with Morkvarg. So without further ado, let's get into some games. Against Ardle, he might want to steal some beasts, but we can't let him do that. Play some tempo here. How many Ardle charges? Five, okay. All right, so he's passed. Fine by me. Okay, push him just a little bit. Okay, good. I think we can get out of this round now. Our short round is really, really strong. Okay, he's playing a five-point Menno. That's cute, I guess. So his last card is Serret, right? Wait, what? Oh, oh, he already played his... <laughs> he's already played his Serret. I don't think we have enough here. Oh, no, we don't. 
Ah, that sucks. All right, Bruverhoog versus Beasts. Nice. Play Milva turn one is pretty good. I wish I could kill it, but I can't. All right, he's playing Sasenthesis in this round already. I'm just going to play out trash cards at this point. There's no point in playing out this round anymore. Whoa, and Bruver? But fill out Millaean, and I'm going to be happy. Whoa, why would you play down on this? Yeah, I have to pass here. I have no choice, really, do I? Okay, he gives me the round. I'm pretty good with that, actually. Let's play out a bunch of beasts, right? This card, this guy. Send out the deck. We want to find Cleaver. Oh my god, we didn't find Cleaver? Are you serious? Gonna discard the Bear Master. So we can Freya's Blessing him and use the Raging Bear on the Olaf for extra points. I think I just play Olaf front row. So in case he has Crushing Trap, we can get extra value out of him. Hoping he does not have Geralt or anything. We can just do this. 10 point Bear Master is pretty underwhelming though. Yeah, that's 100% Crushing Trap. There's no way it's not. Okay, good. So we get extra points from playing Olaf in this row. 20 points! I don't see him having 20 points here, so I think we're good. Oh, that's big. Ah, not big enough, though. Alright, Emir. Probably a soldier deck. Oh, getting rid of the roach is very annoying. <laughs> that's funny. Wow, okay. So he's played out Serret. Can we do this in 2? 14? We can do this. As long as we're just playing bronzes out, it should be fine, right? Okay, so he's playing low tempo there. That's actually not that bad for me. Huh. Night passes. Hey, right. let's blow our Olaf here. Win the round. He's banishing. Why are you banishing, dude? I'll pass here. Ah, oh, he has Bonhart, though. He played a... Why would he pay Peter here? So, we can't play around Bonhart. So we might as well just go all out, right? Oh my god, he can play, replay all of these. So we just deny his Leo, right? <laughs> I mean, we just deny his Leo. It's not that hard, is it? Okay. That's weird. That's really weird. This guy played completely wrong. He had like two big removals that we still want. Rank 15 now, that's pretty decent. We are now at the point where we were last season. Rank 15, another Nilfgaard player. I don't like playing against Nilfgaard with this deck. There's too many big units. A few episodes ago, I crafted this card instead of like something good. I don't remember what it was, but here's the reason why. This card is just so good in this deck. It just creates so much tempo with the Roach and the Savage Bear. It gives you an extra Savage Bear in the graveyard. The good thing about his deck is he's playing like bronze cards and he's keeping up really well with my deck, which is kind of scary. Whoa, what? If he Bonhearts this, we are actually very happy. He's played out his Volga Forts. He's played out his Slave Infantry. He's played out his Daryl and Soldier. I think we can pass here. Alright, so he's passed. So I think I'll discard Elder Bear. Play out the Infiltrator. Nice. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, this is important if you're playing Bran. You always have to discard on the Dry Pass. We do not need to Bran with this hand. In the current situation. Always be careful with your Bran discards. Okay, good. We can Cleaver that. Wait, but we don't have any beasts. That's a problem. <laughs> we don't have beasts. Where are the beasts? Oh, he's playing Peter now. Oh, that's so good. That only leaves Bonhart, right? So as long as we have more than one target for the bears, we should be fine here, right? So I think I'm going to Freya for an Elder Bear, right? Yeah. Or Savage Bear. I do like points. I really do like points. Big Bear Master. Puny reamed. Um, I think Bonhart does it. He needs 16. That's not 16. Wait, you playing Volgaforts and Zoltan? Isn't that like the most risky thing ever? Oh well. We win, regardless. Northern Realms against Bears. Uh, could be awkward. <laughs> it could definitely be awkward. I mean, it depends on what we draw here. Cleaver. Where's my Cleaver? Oh, wait. This is actually kind of good. We just discard like a bear, right? Something like a... Elder Bear. I just kill this with Ifrit, right? That's good. Hensel doesn't run big removal, right? So as long as we just have to win the round. We just legit just have to win the round. As long as we can do that, we should be fine. Right, he's slowly getting there. That's kind of scary. Now the question is, does he have eight points? 
Or do I have to keep pushing? I don't know. Oh my god, this is so bad. Is he gonna pass if I play Olaf? I really need him to pass here. Okay, good. Good. My god. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so as long as we can force out Hensel out of him, we should be good. That's gonna be easier said than done. Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna lose this one. Hansel is strong, you know? Northern Realm is actually kind of strong at the moment. No way. You're, you're BMing me that hard? Alright, dude, you don't have to be a douchebag, though. Like, come on. Alright, that's pretty bad. Eldane. That's an interesting matchup. Runestone turn one. Now, this is a real Gwent player. Oh, please do. Thank you for this great little cleaver target. I have officially now negated the coin flip. Yeah, this card's a bit of a problem. <laughs> this card's kind of stupid. Uma. Oh, yeah. True Gwent players play Uma. Oh, Triss Butts. That's so good. That's actually nuts. I'm just gonna play another of these guys, right? This card is, like, ridiculous. All right, we went on even. We can actually, like, just make him go two cards down or something. I don't know. This... This is not Pitfall. This should never ever be Pitfall. I poison. I don't, I don't care about poison. You can poison this. Alright, double traps. The thing is, a crushing trap isn't gonna do it. So I'm just gonna pass. And if it's horn, it's not gonna get any value. Oof. That's bad. Alright, so he goes a card down. He got rid of his elven scouts. This is horn, right? Yeah, this is horn. Alright, so he discard the Freya. Get out the Olaf. This isn't Pitfall. Sweet. And just do the same thing again. Alright. Good. Good stuff. Alright. Svalblood. Pass here. Yeah. That Svalblood Priest is going to be a victim of my cleaver in the round that he's going to play out. He's going to play his Priest next, I think. Right, there's his Priest. Good stuff. Heim. Oh, Heim's going to be so good. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, we do it by one. Oh, that's close. That's ridiculously close. Huh. Good thing we didn't discard. Alright, let's see him do 16. Ha, oh, damn. So we draw, wow. Damn, that's was, that was actually kind of close. Oh, Bran versus Bran. Is it gonna be beasts versus beasts? Hmm. I love that mulligan. <laughs> That's the best mulligan. You mulligan more Krog than you get Daran. He needs seven points. He needs quite a bit bit of points here to actually catch up. But he's got two cards to do it, so let's do this right. Okay, now ten is a bit more questionable for him to do. Alright, so we win the round on even. Is that Olaf? Yeah, just play out Olaf. And him discarding now just gives me points. That's actually kind of good. Phoenix actually isn't that bad. I mean, we can pass here. Make him go a card down. That's good. Mulligan this so we can discard the... Wolf pack. How many beasts do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got some pretty big beasts here. I think we win this, yeah. By a margin of six points. Pretty good. Card down, I mean, makes the difference in the mirror every time. We got the Letho Mosaic, and I'm gonna play one more game to try and get to rank 14. Harold versus Bran. What is this hand? Oh my god, how am I gonna win a game with this hand? Let's kill this. Pretty good. Traveling, oh, okay, 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 okay. I mean, he really wants the dagger if he's playing this card. Alright, 24 points up. He's gonna pass. <laughs> I mean, I kinda expect that. I mean, he got so much tempo. I want that cleaver. Because of this. Alright, just have to get lucky here, right? Oh no! Come on! Give me the 50 50. Too many engines. Make him go a card down as well. Just realize that. That's actually the best pass he's given me. Oh Jesus. Yeah, Skellige engines. It's kind of stupid. I don't know why they buffed this. This, this was fine the way it was, honestly. Out of four, it's already hard to remove. Why are there so many discards? Okay, I mean, we're gonna fin to zero anyway, but I still want that cleaver. Like, seriously, I really want that cleaver. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine too, actually. Play Olaf, so if it hits, you know, 
we get points. So we double this card here. Oh, why didn't I just kill this? Oh, damn. Be good. Good <laughs> thing we can kill the dagger without any repercussion. Alright, sweet. What's up with these engines? Stop! Why? Where is? Why is this always at the bottom of my deck? I think I'm just gonna discard the bear. And Freya's blessing, like, the Drummond, right? Okay, so we win, right? Yeah, we win. Oh, Igni, though, that's kind of scary. All right, so we got the rank up here, and we get to rank 14. And with that, I'm gonna end this episode. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe for more Gwen content, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.